And I said that, that down there that Abraham Lincoln had a secretary, John Hay, who was a poet. And he tells the story about the little boy, little britches that got lost in the storm and how they rescued him. And he said in there, and I think that saving a little child and fetching him to his own is the darn sight better business than loafing around the throne. And I think that was a great right, contribution uh -huh. to Masons uh -huh. the Bacon. Well, the Masons this year, if uh, the crowd and all holds up, should make around uh, thirty thousand dollars on the picnic. And one of the first years they had it, they made thirty. So now, how many times? What percentage increase is that? That's pretty big, <laughs> but I expect I expect that thirty dollars would go a long ways in those ways. You know, <laughs> right. somebody was talking about uh, George Washington throwing uh, throwing a dollar across. Uh, Rapa Hanuk of the Potomac River, I've forgotten which, but somebody remarked and said a dollar would go a lot further than those days in the middle of town. <laughs> but that is a, that's a marvelous uh, record to make it this year. Well, now, it's been 25 years. I believe you were the first year as senator that year. You spoke in 55, weren't you? It was. Uh, let's see. What year was 55. that? 55. Fifty five, yeah. That's a year First after year. I was uh -huh. Senate. Well, twenty five years you've been had a lot. Seen a whole lot. Been right. been through a whole lot since then. <laughs> right. Senator Urban, I have a question. Uh, you travel around the state and attend similar events to this, you know, through the year and through the years. Do you think that um, things like the uh, Masonic picnic here are still as important to communities as they were um, twenty five um, years ago? Well, I think they just I think they really would be more important if people appreciate the importance. Now, as a Mason, uh, we have a uh, during uh, recent years we had so many clubs, civic clubs, and different organizations that have taken uh, so many of the people got acted in it. Otherwise, in the old days, would have been in the Masonic Lodge. And um, as a Mason, I wish there was some way that. Uh, it could encourage more young people to go into the Masonic Lodge. There's a rule of masonry, you can't recommend anybody to join it. And so uh, people have to make up their own mind. But I wish they'd abolish that rule and let the masons <laughs> go out and solicit uh, un outstanding young men that uh, would make good masons. And, and tell them it's, it's really more important than some of these other civic clubs. Although they don't come out in, in the public to do things. Could we get a comment on any difference you noticed in Moxville as you came in, the people, the size of the picnic, and that type of thing, uh, in the 25 years that taking place? Well, uh, Moxville, it, it seems to me that Moxville has grown a great deal since uh, I was here before. It's certainly grown a great deal since that's the first time I knew Moxville. Uh, Moxville is in the area of uh, North Carolina, which I think, all us the, through this section of the state, I think it's the greatest country on earth. I think it's more highly blessed. But with uh, now we can't brag on our climate lately, but normally we can brag on our climate. <laughs> but the greatest thing about North Carolina to me is uh, its people. I think we've got the finest people on earth. But we were impressed that the day of your speech, the temperature dropped about 10 degrees. Uh -huh. <laughs> and also the rainfall. <laughs> it used to go up 10. <laughs> well, I could claim some responsibility because uh, when before I left Morgan, I asked my secretary, I said, shall I take an umbrella? I said, heaven forbid. I said, that might keep it from raining. Bill Sight County School at Kernsville. I thought I might have seen someone in the audience that didn't see that last year. I can go down the list and call you by name. Stand up, Mrs. Daniels, and let us see you too. I have suspected that. But uh, let's give her a hand. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're glad to welcome to this uh, 96 era. Uh, personality to uh, uh, members of the respective sponsors of this annual. Fair, all the Masonic family, friends, and 
indeed, I'm very happy and elated to be here this evening to bring the message. As you know, I'm basically a preacher. Whatever you put a preacher on to do, somewhere along the way, you will end up with a little preacher. So if I begin to preach, I'm quite sure it will be perfectly all right. Help yourself. Help yourself. I uh, want to say I think this is a very worthy call to the Daily County Education Union and the Commission in Large, uh, Marksville, North Carolina, respectively, come together to have this annual picnic, the proceeds of which will go for a charitable cause. Uh -huh. And I want to compliment all the officers and the all the officers and members, respectively, of the large as well as the uh, Dayton County Educational Union. Uh, I will talk about uh, this evening a uh, uh, subject you know, that dear to all of our hearts. Uh, I want to talk about no more walls. Walls have a tendency to divide separate us. And I want to talk about this evening, no more walls. That's good. And the reason why I want to talk about no more walls is because of the fact, I think, that we live in an age where we see gigantic walls being constructed. Mm -hmm. And I think the preacher needs to address himself to this idea of no more walls. The Bible uh, makes it plain that Job, uh, who was living in the land of us one day as he was born about his death occupation, seemingly the devil came to Job, and when the devil came to Job, uh, seemingly Mr. B.T. Williams, and on the left, Mr. Clyde Studevant, and these two gentlemen have been instrumental in the, the uh, picnic each year now for quite a while. I will ask them how long. And if they'd both give me a little bit of background in what their organization has to do with this part of the picnic. All right, the Masons, uh, Corinthian Lodge number 17, uh, donates the uh, labor and they time and everything here for the purpose of donating the the uh, funds to the central orphanage at Ox Oxford, North Carolina. Uh, it goes to that and for the upkeep of the Masonic Hall here in Marksville. That's where it goes. Mr. Williams? Well, I think it has been, uh, ha as has been said, uh, both organization, organizations contribute liberal. The main purpose and the founding of the organization was for higher education. But since then, any number of things, Central often has come in, and that's one of the main purposes now of the David Education Union and the old and disabled people in the county. And any other worthwhile organization of functions that arises, we're always standing willing and ready to help and don't turn a, uh, a deaf ear to anyone that's, that's trying to do something worthwhile. All right. How long has the picnic that we're talking about been going on, and how long have both of you been uh, coming, and uh, when do you remember starting out with the picnic? Uh, the Lodge, the Masons, united with the Davy Educational Union approximately 
36 years. 36 years ago. Up until that time, it was solely run by the Davie Educational Union. And, of course, I was a member before then of the Davie Educational Union and also a member of Corinthian Lodge number 17. And we decided that we would uh, unite ourselves together and make a bigger and more uh, profitable organization out of the tooth. And the mm -hmm. tooth could donate to uh, a worthwhile cause, you see, and we would split the proceeds.